Good afternoon. I hope you've had a nice day today, this beautiful Tuesday. I am here with our read aloud book, The Magic Treehouse, Dinosaurs Before Dark. And if you look where our little bookmark is, we're getting closer and closer to the end. Very exciting. All right, so we're on chapter nine, The Amazing Ride. Here we go. The Pteranodon coasted down to the ground. He stared at Jack with his bright, alert eyes. Can you imagine what that's like, bright, alert eyes? Not sleepy, bright and alert. Was Jack supposed to, what was Jack supposed to do? Climb on? But I'm too heavy, thought Jack. Jack looked at the Tyrannosaurus. It was starting up the hill. Its giant teeth were flashing in the sunlight. Okay, thought Jack, don't think, just do it. I think those were Annie's words before, weren't they? Jack put his book in his pack, then he climbed onto the Pteranodon's back, and he held on tightly. The creature moved forward. He spread his wings and lifted off the ground. Jack nearly fell off as they teetered this way and that. The Pteranodon, Pteranodon steadied himself and rose into the sky. Jack looked down. The Tyrannosaurus was staring up at him and chomping the air. The Pteranodon glided away. He sailed over the hilltop and over the valley. Wow, that would be so cool, wouldn't it? He circled above all the duck-billed dinosaurs and all the nests filled with babies. Then the Pteranodon soared out over the plain, over the Triceratops who was grazing in the high grass. Jack felt like a bird. The wind was rushing through his hair. The air smelled sweet and fresh. Can you picture that? He felt like a bird. The wind was rushing through his hair, and the air smelled sweet and fresh. You can close your eyes and picture what that would feel like in your head. Jack whooped and laughed. He couldn't believe it. He was riding on the back of an ancient flying reptile. The pteranodon sailed over the stream and over the ferns and bushes, and then he carried Jack down to the base of the old oak tree. And here's a picture for you so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. There's the T-Rex kind of chomping the air as Jack's flying off, holding on to the pteranodon. When they came to a stop, Jack slid off the creature's back and landed on the ground. The pteranodon took off again and glided into the sky. Bye, Henry, called Jack. Jack, are you okay? Annie shouted from the treehouse. Jack pushed his glasses into place. He kept staring at the pteranodon. Jack, Annie called. Jack looked up at Annie. He smiled. Thanks for saving my life, he said. That was really fun. Thank Henry, not me, said Annie. Come on, climb up. Jack tried to stand. His legs were wobbly. He felt a bit dizzy. It would be kind of a rush to ride on the back of a dinosaur, right? It's not like, not like a ride at the fair, like an animal that's flying hundreds and hundreds of feet in the sky and there's no seatbelts, just holding on. Jack tried to stand, his legs were wobbly, he felt dizzy. Ooh. When I was a kid, we used to have a tire swing on our school playground and we thought it was really fun to get a couple people on the tire swing and spin it, 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 spin it really fast. And so if you were on the tire swing, you were holding on to the chains like this, and you were going, and when you got off, you were so dizzy. Some people felt sick. So that's what I'm picturing in my head when, when he, they're describing Jack getting off feeling wobbly and a bit dizzy. Hurry, shouted Annie, it's coming. Jack looked around. The Tyrannosaurus was heading straight toward him. Jack bolted to the ladder. He started climbing. Hurry, hurry, cried Annie. Jack reached the top and scrambled into the treehouse. It's coming toward the tree, Annie cried. The dinosaur slammed against the trunk of the tree. The treehouse shook like a leaf in the wind. Jack and Annie tumbled into the books. Make a wish to go home, cried Annie. We need the book. The Pennsylvania book, said Jack. Where is it? They both searched madly around the treehouse. Found it, said Jack. He grabbed the book and flipped through the pages. He found the photograph of where the fog... Frog Creek Woods were. He pointed to the picture in the book. I wish I could go home. The wind began to blow. Jack closed his eyes and he held on tightly to Annie. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster and then everything was still, absolutely still. And we will leave you there for tomorrow. Tomorrow's chapter 10.
Home Before Dark. I bet you can't predict what that chapter is going to be about.